This is the make or break moment. When you finally get your boards after weeks of waiting and you hope, no, <laughs> you pray that everything is perfect. And of course, it's not. You see, one scratch here in the middle can maybe be solved with a, a knob on it. Maybe these kind of marks, these kind of marks. When nearly half a batch has these cosmetic defects, it's a problem. Not for how the synth sounds, Audrey Steele screams like a motherfucker, but for how it looks. And that means we can't sell them as new. And these don't just sit here, they end up in the trash. Money wasted, materials wasted. But here's the thing, this isn't just my problem. It's happening to every synth manufacturer. Some manufacturers avoid this issue entirely by simply using aluminum faceplates, like this Erica Synth's Black Dual VCF. This is aluminum, powder-coated, silk-screened, and white. It'll always have a consistent look. You can print these details, the graphics, maybe even in different colors. It's pretty much always clean, always flawless. Same thing here, Chaos Devices, fantastic design. We have uh, brushed aluminum, I assume, and then black silk screen on top of it. Also looks super slick. But you see, there's one thing you can't really do with aluminum. And that is to create these beautiful LED windows. These can be in any shape that you want. This beautiful copper is going to be very hard to reproduce with aluminum. And of course, touch pads. You can't really have touch pads like these on an aluminum faceplate. For me as a graphic designer, this opens a whole world of possibilities. It's interactive poster rather than just a panel with knobs. And this flexibility comes with cost. PCB faceplates like this of Spotakach go through the same industrial process as the circuit board inside. And the manufacturers, they don't really care about cosmetic defects. If the electronics work, that's all that matters to them. That kind of makes sense. Which leads to the waste problem. Every synth maker using PCB faceplates deals with this. And for small companies, it can be brutal. Because the reality is, if a batch comes in with scratches and marks, there's no fix. It's either sell them at a loss or throw them away. Transition. I just can't throw that many boards to the landfill. You need to understand, these cannot really be recycled easily because they're made out of different materials and these materials need to actually be separated. I'm not going to go into detail here and it's not like I'm an expert or anything. Feel free to educate me in the comments if I'm wrong, but I'm sure that we all agree that giving these boards life is certainly a better option than recycling them. And so I wanted to propose to any of you composers and producers and makers out there who really want to have an Audrey and don't really care about such cosmetic defects to get one fully working unit or a DIY kit with a huge 50% discount. These are, again, fully working units and DIY kits of Audrey that could be enjoyed by you or your electronic producer nerd friend who's making soundscapes and horror music. And 50% discount basically makes these super affordable. Not only you'll have this unique instrument at a bargain price, but you'll also help us be more sustainable and save these from the landfill. If you're interested, I'm going to share a link in the newsletter and on our Discord, so check the description below for more information. And as always, I appreciate your support. Share this video with your synth nerd friends. Drop me a comment below if you have any suggestions or just want to say hi. I really appreciate it. I'll see you in the next video.